People in San Jose are just like their fellow citizens up and down the coast of our most populous state. Combine a solid business community with environmental regulations and the California dream stays alive and well for everyone. The NECA IBEW Powering America team, well aware of this mindset and the rapid changes taking place in the energy market, is taking a leadership role where doing good business while being a good neighbor go hand in hand. Welcome to another Electric TV in our neighborhood feature. This is the local headquarters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 332, a short drive from downtown San Jose. Like every other building, it runs on electricity. Good afternoon, Local 332, how may I help you? The problem is this building and buildings like it have utility bills of more than $140,000 a year. Money that is gone and is never coming back. Money that pays for traditional energy resources that we've been relying on seemingly forever. The answer is as sure as the sunrise, and it involves solar power that eliminates utility bills and can be installed with no out-of-pocket cost to the owner. Enter NECA contractor Ken Spears in Pacific Ridge Electric and alternative energy engineer Chris Smith. Working together, they designed a plan that 600 solar panels later would not only provide Local 332 with an entirely new energy system makeover, it would do so with 100% of its power coming from the sun. In the industry, it's called a net zero building. It uses no power from the electrical grid, and in fact, owners can sell the power it generates, but doesn't need back to the utility. In my opinion, the main view of the public doesn't see an electrical contractor or an electrician as to what they're truly capable of in today's day and age. I mean, our electricians and our contractors today are able to do solar, they're able to do energy storage and EV charging stations and lighting control systems, and they're able to do this whole myriad of technology that um, mainly people just don't know. The installation of a system like at IBEW332 that takes a business off the electric grid is an attractive proposition to be sure, but NECA is spearheading an effort that should make it virtually irresistible to any owner. It's called ECAP, NECA's Energy Conservation and Performance Platform. Simply put, it reduces risk and pulls everyone together in a one-stop shop where an owner is concerned. With ECAP, an owner won't need to invest their own money to complete the project, won't have to worry if a project will perform, won't have to deal with a myriad of lenders, insurers, engineers, contractors, and subcontractors. And when the project is complete, the result will be a more valuable, self-sustaining property and a better place to work. Here's a snapshot of how ECAP works. Because of the Powering America team's long-standing relationships through the business world and electrical industry, we're able to access the financing, the project insurance, bonding, the engineering and design, and run it all through the NECA contractor handling the installation. All the owner has to say is, let's go. That's how the first of its kind, $3.2 million project got off the ground. Certainly early on, it was the fact that we could fund these projects. It wasn't that we had to go to the customer any longer and say, oh gee golly, we want a uh, million dollars or two million or three million dollars to put these projects together. We can fund these projects for you up front and we can save you more money than the funding costs you. That was a huge eye opener. What a wonderful opportunity this ECAP uh, financing is. You have the ability to finance your project, you have the ability to have one-on-one -on -one relationship with people that are actually going to put the product in and uh, make the project complete but you also have the satisfaction that you, you've done the right thing. And you know, it, it, at the end of the day, what you're looking at is something that couldn't be any easier to do for a business owner. And with a green light to move forward, work began to turn the building from energy hog into an energy swan. While the roof began showing the early stages of the transformation in preparation for the panel installation, work was also well underway below. Our modern lighting control system on it is fully integrated into the building. There are daylight sensors in the building that will read the amount of daylight coming in and will automatically dim the lights so that we can let the most natural sunlight that there is into the building to obviously save on cost, but also um, the best light for any human being is just pure natural sunlight. We're going to be making so much energy from the solar array on the roof, we elected to change the water heaters out to electric. So uh, we've eliminated some loads that are um, 
non-green loads, if you will, and turn them into green energy loads. The products that are out now are certainly more efficient than they ever have been. They're certainly more reliable than they ever have been. I mean, the manufacturers of the solar panels are guaranteeing them for 25 years. It's amazing. There was no disruption at all. We had hands-on meetings. We had uh, coordinating meetings. Our contractors and the people that work for our, our subcontractors did a really good job of minimizing uh, impact. There was really no disruptions whatsoever to the process. As the project crossed the finish line, the panels unseen from the ground had taken over the roof. But to the trained eye, another aspect of the job was obvious, the pipe work. The work that is as much of an art to an IBEW journeyman as it is a critical element of making the entire system operational. I got to see this one from start to finish. It feels good to do something that really is good for the environment. I feel like this is probably really uh, every wireman's dream to do a job like this, not only on their own union hall, but something that you know, is really uh, great for the environment and the state as a whole, and it's great work for our building. It shows also what IBW workers can do. We're very proud of it. We're very proud of uh, it turning out exactly as we'd hoped. So yeah, it's gonna be a, one of our show and tell projects, to be sure. Everything works. The building will be 100% net zero energy upon completion of the project. The potential is we can take this project and replicate it anywhere. There's financing for this type of building so that anyone can afford it, so that there's uh, insurance to make sure that the energy savings and the energy production is covered, as well as to make sure the warranties are there. We just really wanna show that this is something that's not out of reach and can be done today, here and now. We feel that the project that we just completed was completely successful and that we're looking forward to reap the benefits for years to come. When you think about doing something good like this and also being able to get it, have it pay for itself, it's a no-brainer. How proud is the Powering America team of the project? Well, local leaders asked for a little custom design work to send a message to people sitting on the left side of airplanes making that final approach into San Jose's airport. This is what they'll see. For Electric TV, I'm Dominic Geritano. Be sure to check us out on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information.